Well, good morning, everyone. How are you doing today? Why don't you stand with us? We're going to do some worship. I search the world, but it couldn't fill me. A man's empty praise and treasures that fade.
Well, good morning. Glad you're here today. It's kind of a strange day, isn't it, with all the smoke in the air? But we're glad you're here. You're glad you made it. And uh, you may be seated at this time. And uh, we're happy to welcome up two very important people who have a very important announcement. Uh, Mr. Jevin Hobbolt, if you would make your way to the platform, if you're in the building, that'd be great. If you're not here, that's very interesting. I think he's in the building. He is in the building. Yeah, he's So this here. time we'll welcome uh, Jevin and Pastor Ryan. Okay, there we go. I am looking out, and I'm seeing people of all ages. I'm seeing people that are smiling. I'm seeing some people that look like they're not smiling for a while. <laughs> now, I need, a, I need one volunteer over the age of 18. And if no one volunteers, someone will be voluntold. <laughs> Come on up. Let's have a round of applause for Mr. Fitzner. And now I need another volunteer over the age of 98. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, need a, I do need another volunteer. All right, it's time to volunteer someone. Ren, come on up. Okay, so the advantages of volunteering is that sometimes you get to choose things. So Matt, would you like pink or blue? Blue. <laughs> there you go. Do you want pink or pink? I'll take the pink. Excellent choice, excellent choice. All right, so gentlemen, can we just back up right to about here? Now, this is the ancient, ancient game that's been around since Methuselah. Uh, basically, there are three holes in this board. There's a big one, a middle-sized one, and a small one. These gentlemen are going to launch their bean bags here. If they get them in the small hole, they get three points. The middle hole, two points, and the big one, one point. Now we're gonna alternate. We will start with flip of the coin, doo doo doo, heads or tails. You called tails, heads it was. Matt, you start first. Ooh, a little bit of an overshot on that one. <laughs> Ooh, close, close, close. Oh, two for two. Hey. Oh. Okay, so we have a score of four to two. Or if you do the canceling system, two to zero. So we here like to reward those who uh, get a higher score. So, uh, Ren, would you like coffee crisp or Kit Kat? Or, or arrow, sorry. Coffee crisp. And because we don't like to make people feel sad, Matt, you can have this one. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Thank you very much, gentlemen. You may have a seat. So I will give a guess to anyone who, who can figure out what this ad is in relation to. Camp out. Only one person? <laughs> I've got to do a better job at this. Uh, okay, church camp out, which is when? Okay, let's try that again. So, the folks on this side were like 80% responding, and there was like 12% response over here. I like you guys better. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, August 6th, 7th, and 8th, the church camp out. Any idea where it's located? Here. Well, not, not right here, because you're not going to set up tents inside. Outside. Outside. All right. Who's allowed to come? Everyone. That's what I like to hear. And we're going to have games. Now... To be fair, not all of our games are going to have prizes, but some of our games are indeed going to have prizes. Okay? So we'll have games for little people. We'll have games for every people. Okay? Because we want everyone to come out, have fun. You know what? Even if you don't feel like playing games, come on out and laugh at other people who are playing games and being funny and maybe making a fool of themselves. Okay, because that's what family does. We get together, we laugh, we joke, we have fun, we share food. There's going to be a sign-up sheet in the back, in the foyer. And if you are planning to come, please sign up on that list. Uh, it just helps us have an idea of how many people are, are planning to be here so we can make the appropriate plans on food purchases and whatnot. And uh, we would love to have you there. If you do have any questions about it, you can talk to me uh, after the service or you can talk to Pastor Ryan as well and we will hopefully be able to answer any questions that you might have. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Jevin, and Pastor Ryan, who's been helping the plan. And a, oh, thanks so much to Matt and Ren. Thanks for volunteering, Matt. And Ren, thank you for being willing. That was good. I appreciate it. You got a chocolate bar out of it. That's good. Yeah. So I think those pink ones are the better ones, obviously. Remember that for the camp out, okay? That's what's going to matter, the color. All righty. Little ones walking around here. It's all good. Hey, man, how's everybody doing this morning? That is good. Yeah, okay. Not a lot of enthusiasm. It seemed like Jevin got more enthusiasm than me. We'll have to start doing games here, all right? But all I'm doing is announcements. Uh, so good to see you guys here. I'm uh, happy to see you. If you are here for the first time... Uh, Really glad that you chose to be here with us today. Uh, today is our NET Sunday. NET stands for No Empty Tables. So uh, today, after the service, we're inviting everybody to stick around. We're going to have some food together. You say, I don't even see any tables. That's coming. We, we didn't know exactly how the weather was going to be. We were hoping that it would be outside, but obviously it's not the best out there today. So what's going to happen after the service, when we're all done here, we're going to bring some tables in here, okay? So you don't even have to go far, all right? The tables are going to be in here, and we can go in there and grab our food, then come back out and sit down together. Uh, it's an opportunity for you to get some, to know some people, to get to reconnect with some people, and uh, to be able to maybe meet someone for the first time. Uh, if you're here today and you say, well, I didn't know this is happening. Is this for me? It's for everybody. For those of you at home, we're glad you're tuning in. Uh, if you're still thinking, hey, I haven't been out in a while, but that sure sounds like a nice idea. You still got time to get here, all right? We'd love to see you here in person. Um, uh, Margaret's been organizing. We've got food ready to go out here. Yes, lots of people have been bringing food. So That's good. Awesome. It's, and it looks delicious, so oh, don't forward. miss it. Yeah. Awesome. I, I, you guys, I think, were a little bit worried that I wasn't going to be back in time, right? When I, I walked into that, that room, I kind of seen a, a look of relief come over your face. <laughs> Is that right? It happened. Okay, good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was I, relieved. Yeah, I, I've been the last few Sundays just getting Helen situated at her home with the computer so that she can actually watch. She's been listening faithfully for all year, but now she's learning how to, to watch us online. So uh, I'm hoping that you're still seeing this, Helen. Hopefully you're still there. 
and uh, we miss you. Yeah, Amen. good morning, and we miss you. Absolutely. Yeah. So, uh, how are you guys doing this morning? <laughs> good. Pretty good. It's a little smoky. Yeah, I'm hoping that was a smoke cough and yeah. not a COVID cough. Right? <laughs> okay, good. Brings out the COVID. There yeah. we go. No, it's the smoke. It's terrible. We went to an escape room last night. We did. An escape room. And yeah. obviously you got out. So good. We, got we out. escaped. Yeah, I just wish yeah, we could escape the smoke. That would be kind of nice. But yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Who here has ever done an escape room? I'm just curious. Do you know what those well, are? Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. Few. Anybody else? No? Okay. That's cool. Let's lock the doors and turn the church into an escape room. <laughs> Just kidding. This is going to be, yeah, that's a great segue. Surprise, the doors are getting locked and you're here for a while. No. Amen. Just joking. So that's pretty fun. Yeah. We've done them as a, as a team building exercise before for the church when we've gone on our retreats. So it's been kind of fun. Oh, absolutely. Speaking of team building, perfect segue. Uh, coming up on Saturday, July 31st. Uh, we are going to have our own team building exercise here. We're going to invite you folks to come out, any that can, uh, for the morning, sticking around till early afternoon. We're going to be doing a, we call them a work bee. I, I, I'll be honest, I don't know why it's called that. I, 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 I never really heard of it until I moved here, but that's what we call them, where we invite you folks, anybody here that would like to come out and help us take care of some stuff around the church. Um, you say, hey, don't we pay you guys to do that? Yes, you do. And what we're going to do is say we want you guys to come and help out for free. No, the, the things that typically uh, accumulate for a while that may need to get cleaned up, the things that may need a little bit of a deeper cleaning, uh, we'd like some help with that. There's stuff outside that needs to be attended to. Um, it's just basically a day to come out and offer your services for the morning to help get things tidied, in order, moved around, thrown out, whatever needs to be done. And we'd love to have a few volunteers to be here to help with that. And the amount of work that gets done depends on the amount of people that show up and uh, we'll find something for you to do and the, the goal is to be out right after lunch. We'll provide you some food and uh, another time to just connect with each other and an opportunity to serve. That's coming up July 31st, Saturday at 9 a.m. Amen. We're also looking for some uh, volunteers for an important ministry here, correct Ben? Yeah, I could talk to that. For sure. is, uh, is this camera okay, Lee, or do you want me to look over here? That one? Perfect. I guess I don't really need to talk to people online, except that... It's that one. Oh, it's this one. Oh, yeah. I see. All right. Here we go. All right. Am I good? Oh, Cross Lord. my legs. How's that? All right. Perfect. It's funny because I'm talking to the camera um, for a ministry where, you know, most people are actually at home if they're watching online. That's usually how it works. Um, so, as you know, uh, our camera ministry... Okay. Thanks, honey. <laughs> that, was, that was awkward. I'm not going to lie. Uh, you know, our video ministry is, was uh, super critical getting us through uh, the last year and a half. Uh, it's been amazing. We have had some very dedicated volunteers. Uh, uh, just to be really straightforward with you, for this ministry to continue, we need some help. That's pretty much where it's at. So uh, the, the cool thing is, is you don't need to know what you're doing. Uh, I'll train you. <laughs> so if there's an interest in tech, if there's an interest in video, uh, we'll come alongside you, train you. You'll get to watch how it's been done for a little while. And, uh, and uh, you're serving in a really important ministry, which at various times, uh, you know, in the past and in the future may, may prove really vital for us. So uh, if you're interested in getting involved in that, please come talk to me. Like I said, we'll train you. Uh, it's not terribly complicated. Uh, in fact, uh, you know, the, the basic stuff only takes a couple minutes to learn. So um, if you're interested in that, please come talk to me after service today. I would love to, uh, love to get you involved. So Absolutely. That's that. And we're so thankful for all those that serve in that particular ministry. You may be wondering, why, why is it a big deal anymore? We've got our church open again, so why do we even worry about the cameras? We understand there are some folks that still can't be coming out and are still part of this service, and they'd love to be here, but they can't. There are others that aren't here locally in town, but still, over the last year, they really feel that this is their church, and they want to be able to still be a part of our church services uh, tuning in, so we're thankful for that. But also, um, you know, video ministry, uh, it used to be for years that if um, you were interested in a church, uh, basically, you would look up uh, in the yellow pages and find out what the church number was, phone them up, and say, hey, what time of your service, and then show up. Um, truth is, that's not really how it works for a lot of people anymore. The first interaction most people are going to have with this church is not going to be when they come in those doors. It's going to be when they click on line and try us out 
uh, through video for the first time around. So this is a wonderful way to have a front door to our ministry here at our church, and we want to keep this going uh, for a while. Uh, but again, uh, I'm thankful that there are folks that may be here today that are saying, hey, we're here for the first time. Um, today is a Sunday where we want to give you an opportunity to experience what we do. So if you have questions about what's happening right now, what is this all about? Uh, there's sometimes we do things in church and we don't even understand why we do it or we just, we just always do it. We don't explain it to others. Um, and we haven't really taken the time to make it clear. If you have questions about what we're doing or why we're doing it, we'd love to be able to answer that. So feel free. There are no questions that are off limits. If you've got a question about what you saw here today, what you heard here today, feel free. If you're online, send us a message. Or if you're here in person, find myself or one of our other leaders, and we'd love to be able to explain a little bit more about what it is we do and why we do it. Amen. Amen. Are we done for our announcements? Family of the Week. I, I don't have a... Ah, our Family of the Week. We have another important Family of the Week, a family member of the week, Marlene Sorensen, Aww. front and center here. Yeah. Amen. So thankful for you, Marlene. Such a wonderful part of our church family and so committed and, uh, and, and giving and uh, for a while serving here in our, um, in our welcome ministry for quite a while until things shut down for COVID, but we're glad that you're here and you're a part of our church. So God bless you. Encourage you today to uh, reach out to Marlene uh, and all week long, uh, maybe just remember in prayer. If you do a prayer list like people used to do years ago, put her on your prayer list this week and make sure that every day you remember to pray for Marlene. Amen. And I'm going to invite Pastor Glenn Newdorf to come up. I think he's got some important announcements as well. And maybe if you would uh, be so kind as to, uh, to pray for Marlene uh, and any other prayer requests that might pop up when you're done with your announcements, that would be good. Amen. Right. Okay. Right on. Well, it's good to see everybody this morning. Yeah, it's awesome. I uh, <laughs> absolutely give yourselves a hand. Come on now. Come on, we're a church that's supposed to be alive, right? Amen, amen, amen. Well, you know, today is, is uh, an awesome day, aside from the, the smoke this morning. Got up this morning, and, and because of the heat and all that good stuff, my, my sweetie and I, we've been kind of hanging out in the basement. It's a little cooler down there. Well... <laughs> This morning, when I, Carolyn, she, she's an early riser, and because she's so diligent, uh, getting food ready for today, she was up very early this morning. So when I got up, I got up and I looked, it's dark out. I actually had to turn the light on just to find my way to the stairway, just to come upstairs. Anyways, aside from all that good stuff, <laughs> I have to apologize. I, uh, I'm not apologizing for working, but uh, I did work yesterday, and I had a 5 o'clock in the morning rise, and 9.30 last night, all of a sudden, after having a snack, and Carolyn says, you didn't phone, and I'm, didn't phone, didn't phone. Oh, it's birthdays, and it's anniversaries, and there was a whole bunch of them yesterday, and I missed them yesterday. So we're going to get them today, just because I don't want nobody to feel left out, because this is such an important part of life. <laughs> yeah, it's another day starting a new year. Yeah. So... For those who will be, that aren't here, and there's a couple, it was Gordon Stephenson's birthday yesterday. So Gordon, I know we have good conversations when we, when we phone and talk, so Gordon, happy birthday to you. And oh, there is a young lady here that had a birthday yesterday, and she is very discreetly hiding behind her children. And <laughs> happy birthday, Pam. <laughs> yeah. 
Yes, and you didn't get my special song, but that's all right. I will. And, and oh, there's a couple in church here that come so regularly, and, and uh, they sit so quietly over on this side of the church over here. And they don't say too much, but uh, at, uh, unless you get to corner them, and then they, they have a conversation, and it's nice. So anyways, it's Rudy and Hazel's anniversary, and that was yesterday. So happy anniversary yesterday. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And also, there's one more yesterday, and I have not had the pleasure of meeting this gentleman. His name is Josh Burton. Now, he is, he is connected with Pastor Greg and his family. And so, but Josh watches our program online. And I want, I want to tell you folks, there's a lot of people that are watching our program online that we don't hear from and from different conversations that I've had with different people they say oh yes we see you every Sunday we we're we, we watch your program uh, <clears throat> not sure about the pastor but uh, love the worship love the worship team <laughs> 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 no, uh, they love you, Pastor Greg, as we all do. We think that you do an awesome job as you teach us and minister and lead us. Amen. Amen. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, today we have one more birthday. I had a big list today. Um, one more birthday. And I'm looking for the scoundrel. And, uh, oh, there he is. He's hiding in the... <laughs> Pastor Ryan, you got to come out and take a bow. Come on now. It's Pastor Ryan's birthday today. <laughs> Happy birthday, Pastor Ryan. And for all the birthday people, Ben, can I get you to... Happy birthday to you, a happy birthday to you. May you feel Jesus near every day of the year. A happy birthday to you, a happy birthday to you. And the best year you've ever had. Amen, amen. All right. And one of the other privileges that I get to do among many is I get to pray for people. And I love, I love that responsibility. I get... <laughs> when we can lift each other up before the throne room of God, God says that he hears the cries of his people. He hears our prayers. He says in his word that when you call upon me, he said, I will listen to you. And that's a promise from God. And so this morning, we're going to lift up everybody that had birthdays and anniversaries and our special lady of the week, family of the week, Marlene. Heavenly Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, we just lift up Marlene to you. She's a special sister in this congregation. And Lord, how she ser serves you in every way that she can. And Father God, we thank you for her. And Father, we pray you will continue to keep her in health. And we pray that you will continue to give her a witness in her place of residence. And we pray, Heavenly Father, Lord, as she comes into our services, Father, that you will just minister upon her. You will touch her. You touch her body, Lord, the arthritis. We speak to that arthritis and we just declare healing in Jesus' name. We pray, Heavenly Father, touch her body for every, anything else that may be going on. And Father, give her the strength that she needs in Jesus' precious name. 
And Lord, for Rudy and Hazel, Lord, Father God, we just lift them up to you today. We thank you for them. We thank you for, for their faithfulness to this assembly. And Father God, again, we pray your touch upon them. Lord, we plead the blood of Jesus over their household, over their children, their grandchildren, Father. We pray in the days to come, in the years to come, Lord, that they will be that stalwart example, Heavenly Father, that their children and their grandchildren can look upon and say, yes, there was Grandma and Grandpa, there's Mom and Dad, yes, the faithful ones. Father, use them mightily in Jesus' name and bless their union, bless their marriage, Lord. Father, you ordained that marriage, and so, Father God, we just pray that you will use them mightily. And for our birthday people, Father, bless them today. Encourage them, Father, in the year ahead. Father, just grant them favor, grant them health. And Lord God, we just thank you for everything that you are doing in their lives in Jesus' name. And Father, we just pray a special prayer for Pastor uh, Greg today. Father, we thank you for him. Father, use him mightily. Lord, let the words that he speaks move forth with that anointing that comes from you. And Father, that people's lives will be changed. Lord, people on the airways that are listening to his message, Father God, may the Holy Spirit of God speak through this man of God in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Pastor Glenn. Much appreciated. And thank you so much for, in many ways, just being the heart of our, uh, of our pastoral team here and, and really loving people and keeping people connected and honoring and does such a wonderful job here. So thankful for him. We're going to uh, quickly take up an offering here today. Now, that's something that we haven't been doing a lot for a long time. Last week was our first time in a while. If you're visiting here today or you're not prepared because this isn't something we've done in a while, there is absolutely no obligation uh, for you. Don't worry about it. But this is something that a lot of us that attend and feel committed to this church and believe in, in the, 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 um, the power of giving, but also the necessity to give. This is something that we do regularly here at our church, is we give back to this church and, in a sense, give to God. Uh, and we believe that our gifts are able to, uh, to do good work here locally and all around the world where it's going. So this is an opportunity for us to give. I'm going to invite the ushers to come forward. Um, for a long time, we've just been doing this digitally or, or people dropping off their, their uh, envelopes, but this is something uh, that we're just able to restart again because of our restrictions being lifted. So Lord, thank you for the ability that we have to give. Thank you for the gift of giving, and I pray that you would take what we have to offer, Lord, and just use it for good. Use it to bless others. Use it, Lord, to do your work and to spread your message. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Yes. Sounds like someone's having fun over there. That's good news. Amen. Good stuff. So, um, another thing we haven't been able to do for a while, but we've been doing this for the last few weeks, is reconnecting with each other, taking a few minutes to stand and greet one another. We recognize there may be some here that you're not totally comfortable with this right now. Uh, you may not feel like, oh, I, I don't know if I can shake anybody's hand or I don't know whatever. Uh, for whatever. If you're not comfortable, by all means, stay seated where you are. But for those of you that are ready and eager and just wanting to connect with somebody, I encourage you to take a few minutes right now. We're going to stand and we're going to greet each other. Uh, make people feel welcome, especially if there's someone you don't recognize. Take the effort, extra effort to introduce yourself this morning. Let's take a few minutes and greet one another.